And it's going pretty good. We got two uh, Major League Baseball games going on right now. We got one from the College World Series. So uh, a full day, a uh, full day ahead of us. Yeah, we do. I like these days here. Full day ahead, morning, afternoon, night, depending where you live. So a lot of good action here for Major League Baseball as well as the collegiate. Of course, we documented college baseball here at TonySpace.com. So we have cappers on record with their picks there. So you can always give a look there. It's under CBB, College Baseball. All right, we'll get started here with the late night game tonight. 9.40 Easter time features the Mariners on the road here facing the Athletics. Mariners $1.35, total of seven. Yeah, so we've got George Kirby going up against Paul Blackburn in Oakland for this one. So uh, don't really expect a crowd for this one. Uh, not anything usual for the for Oakland, though. Kirby away is one and one with a 3.43 ERA and a 1.10 WHIP, while Blackburn at home is one and two with a 4.39 ERA and a 1.16 WHIP. So we got pretty good WHIPs here for these pitchers, but the ERAs are a little bit up com in comparison to how they pitch in uh in opposite stadium so uh the mariners the last 15 days hit for a 217 average and a 668 ops while the a's the last 15 days 210 average and a 636 ops that's going to be 29th in major league baseball the mariners are way hit for a 231 average and a 691 ops while the a's at home hit for a 199 average and a 567 ops that's going to be dead last uh, for teams at home, the Mariners against right-handers hit for a 241 average and a 711 OPS, while the A's against right-handers hit for a 204 average and a 583 OPS. Once again, dead last in Major League Baseball. The Mariners' the last 10 games are 2-8 and eight to the over, while the A's' the last 10 games are 4-6 and six to the over. I'm going to ride the under here. We've got two pretty good right-handers on the bump for these teams, and as I've mentioned, the A's really struggle. They've struggled the last 15 days, they struggle at home, and they struggle against right-handers. So Kirby's going to be a handful for the A's. And then I, I really like Blackburn. He struggled uh, at home, as I mentioned, one and two with a 4.39 ERA. But those numbers are, they can be adjusted here with a start against the Mariners who are, I, I'm not going to call them dead yet, but they don't look good. No, no, not at all here. And the, other than uh, Houston and, you know, Texas has their days. <laughs> but that, it, definitely that uh, AL West, a little disappointing here. Uh, Collins here on the Mariners Athletics, under total of seven runs. Yeah, hard to argue that one. You know, but Blackburn has been sharp. Uh, you know, his whip has been good. He gets the ground balls, which you like 50%. You're in that big, spacious ballpark there in Oakland. Of course, Kirby's been that young stud here. A good whip, doesn't give up a lot of base runners. Doesn't walk guys, which you love to see with these young guys, right? They come in the league, usually got to worry about the walks, but 2.8% uh, walk rate. He's given up 46% ground ball rate. And, of course, Oakland's bats aren't very strong, as you mentioned, uh, uh, they're hitting uh, just under under 200 in most of the categories when you look at them uh, at home, just 195. So it's been pretty pathetic here for the, for the athletics hitting. Yeah, as you mentioned, that that ballpark in Oakland is going to hold a lot. So you could you might can get a 110 exit velo in that park with a pretty good launch angle, and it's still not carry out specifically because that ballpark is going to hold uh, a fair amount of those shots. And like I said, man. Blackburn, and you, and you mentioned as well, he's really sharp, and I like him. I, I've, I've actually gotten into some trouble backing him a little too much this year, honestly, because I like him that much. And then Kirby kind of shocked the league whenever he stepped in. He's had a, a really good month of June and uh, a pretty decent month in, April, or in May as well. So I like the under here. This Oakland Athletics team is really not worth backing at all. So if you like the money line on this one, go ahead and lay it with the Mariners. Stay away from Oakland as much as you can. But Blackburn does worry me a little bit. He's that guy that uh, if the if the A's are going to figure a game out, he's going to be the one that's on the mound, right? But yeah. the under here is a really safe play. Like I said, the Athletics don't hit well at home, and the Mariners are kind of struggling the last 15 days as far as their OPS is concerned. All right, here we go. Uh, Mariners Athletics under total of seven runs. Uh, this one will have a start time here of 940 Eastern time. All right, Collins, let's take a look over at TonysPicks.com. We're showing profit here for the NHL. Of course, we got a lot of baseball for today. Uh, still 13 games on the card with two in action right now. Uh, we also have that one big uh, game number four from the NHL. Boy, this is a big one, 2-1. Could either be 2-2, could be 3-1. So we got a nice one tonight as well. What do you have going on over at Tony's Picks? Yeah, so I've got a six pick pass out i've got uh six baseball games looking at uh I, I noticed i said baseball not major league baseball i've got uh i've got to look at this uh college world series uh game tonight against arkansas and old miss two sec west opponents that know each other pretty well 
Uh, and I've got five from the MLB that I like a lot. Last night, uh, I was really close to having a positive day going three and one, but wound up going two and two with the uh, White Sox winning that one in extras against the Blue Jays last night. So uh feels like I'm right on the edge of being positive every single night, but it's just that one play that's going to burn you every single time. So I, I like these plays a lot. I've got five for the Major League Baseball and one for the uh, College World Series game tonight. And if you're only interested in uh, one specific game, you can buy those as well. And then look out for those. Uh, I've got a Twitter, two picks going out on Twitter today. One of them's already hit and another one. And it's going to be two sides for the NHL, a little parlay there for you on that second pick. So go ahead and check out those Twitter profiles. I know uh, all the guys are putting out Twitter uh, picks every single day. And then, of course, like I mentioned, the uh, six day or the six picks for uh, baseball tonight. That's right, guys. I got both Collins Brown over at Tony's Picks.com. He's got his six pack up there for baseball Wednesday's action. Five from Major League Baseball, one from College Baseball as well. We document College Baseball here at Tony's Picks. We got the College World Series covered as well as the regionals as well. But right now, into World Series action. So get on board here with Collins Brown with that six pack from baseball. Or if you prefer, we do have the long term passes. We have the three. Uh, seven and 30 day all sports pass. You get a one month all sports pass here from Collins Brown. Get all of his premium plays from Major League Baseball as well as in the college baseball remainder of the World Series, College World Series, and of course, NHL. We are guaranteed two more games. We'll see what we have after tonight. Whether we go six or we go four or we go five, we, we, we still a lot, a lot of question marks here, but we're still guaranteed two more games from the Stanley Cup final. So get on board with Collins Brown. One month all sports pass. We'll, give, we'll save you some money when you use the promo code Tony T at checkout. You'll save 20% off. Any of the passes, you can get off the off the. Uh, we did the math on that one month pass, but you could also use it on his uh, six pack for tonight. You can access Colin's page by clicking the link in the description, clicking the All Cappers tab, and of course, getting signed up. All right, Collins, as always, uh, great having you show. Continue that success. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. But you're looking for those shorts. We see you produce some videos up there for the site channel. Yeah, I mentioned the other day on Monday. This is a, it's a breath of fresh air being able to come on here and not really having a restriction on the time limit. The shorts, man. You, uh, I get in a little roll and I start <laughs> breathing a little heavy on my. So uh, yeah, man, it's I'm, I'm doing those probably three or four a night. Uh, I'm gonna try and get up to the four or five, but I try and stay away from that higher number because I really, until I start looking through those shorts and looking through that whole card, I really don't know what I'm gonna bet, and especially if I see some line movement in the morning. And I try and stay away from uh, specific games. Exactly, no doubt. All right, Collins, continue that success, and we'll talk with you again here on tomorrow. All right, have a good one. You got it, Collins Brown, get going. Hey, Tony, doing awesome. How about you? Great, doing great. All right, here we go, 7 Eastern time. We have the Red Sox here hosting the Tigers. Uh, the Red Sox, a buck 40, total of eight. Yeah, so Detroit has really struggled lately, posting a three and eight record over their last 11 games. They lost the first two games in the series with Boston, and uh, they're going to roll out the left-hander, uh, Scooball, on Wednesday night. And although he's uh, been Detroit's best pitcher, he's really struggled recently. He's 5-4, and four, 13 starts with a 3.13 ERA and a 1.08 whip. He's posted a 4.7 ERA and 1.22 whip in June. And this Red Sox has been red hot at the plate, and Scooball will need to avoid a repeat of some recent mistakes here if he wants to be successful in the series finale. You know, Tigers have fallen back into form here while the Red Sox are 8-3 and three in the last 11 games. Uh, your Boston's still 12 and a half games behind the Yankees here in the AL East, and they know they can take any games away from them in order to close the gaps. These two squads, uh, OPB and OPS, are trending in opposite directions here, and I'm predicting that Scooball will continue to struggle on Wednesday. Uh, you know, I think the Red Sox can pick up the win here and sweep Detroit here for the third game of the series. Michael Waka is going to be a beast on the mound here in June. He's allowed two or fewer runs in nine of his 11 starts this season with a 1.93 ERA. And he's a product of Boston's opponent's scoring for just a total of four runs across 18.2 innings of work here. Boston's bullpen has improved immensely, and I think they're going to have the bats behind him to take a game three here in this game. All right, that Dylan here on the Red Sox. Minus 140 here against the Tigers. This line's come down a bit. It was minus 155 on the overnight, so a little bit of take back here on this Tigers team. Again, I don't really see it too much. I mean, the Tigers, yeah, they made it respectable. They got that home run, but it's still they were, they were down two in that ninth inning. Uh, hurt the guys on the run line. <laughs> that was a costly home run for some people. But anyway, um, you know, Walk has been solid. I mean, the ERA 2.28, good whip. 
He limits his home runs, gets about 40% ground balls. And again, it's really tough with the Tigers here. This is a team that really struggles to generate runs. And if Boston gets on a roll here, they start hitting them, they, these balls start flying out of Fenway. It's going to be tough for the, the, the Detroit Tigers to, to catch up. Yeah, absolutely. And the price did come down, so you're getting a better value if you really like the Red Sox here in this spot. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the weather here. 65 degrees uh, and wind nine, uh, nine miles per hour right to left here. So we, here we go with the uh, Red Sox minus 140 against the Tigers. This one to have a start time here of 7 p.m. Eastern time. All right, Dylan, let's take a look over at TonySpace.com. We're producing great results here in Major League Baseball the past 30 days. 424 units of profit. Still 13 games on the board. We got a couple of them starting top of the hour. We do have that big NHL uh, game four, uh, the Stanley Cup finals as well. What do you have going on over Tony's picks? Yeah, so we're coming off a nice strong day yesterday, doing a great job in the MLB. So I've got a nice MLB three pack for you for just 25 bucks. Three plays I really like that I'm all over today in today's action. Uh, I also have a four pack that is out with a WNBA and uh, a couple mix of other leagues in there. You guys can grab that too. Great value there, great picks. If you guys are not subscribed to one of my long-term packages, I have a three, seven, or 30-day all sports pass. You can get access to all the different sports that I handicap. And if you're looking for a long-term season pass, I have one in the WNBA as well as the MLB. So grab that for very affordable pricing. Head over to the site and let's keep making money here. That's right, guys. Get over with Dylan Guessman over at Tonyspace.com showing great results here in Major League Baseball the last 30 days. That is all documented, so you can visit Tony's Picks. Go to Dylan's Handicapper page. Go down to Pick History. Every play there is recorded and documented, graded immediately for you. Of course, today he's got a three-pack from Major League Baseball. Affordably priced, just $25. Also, the long-term pass, as Dylan's mentioned, he's in action in a lot of sports here. Uh, last count, eight, maybe more. We'll see as more sports get up here and documented uh, with Dylan. The three, seven, or 30-day all sports patch. You can get on board here with Dylan. He's in action here with Major League Baseball, NHL. Also, WNBA, CFL gets into your, into into the soccer as well as tennis. Wimbledon is coming, so that'll be a lot of that'll be a focused sport for us here as we move into July. And of course, of course, with legalization now in baseball, man, it's it's, it's I was talking about this on another show. It just seems like an intense. It doesn't feel like a slow down summer whatsoever. Uh, so get on board here with Dylan Guessman over at TonySpace.com. Now we're into legalization. It's a lot more people in action. A lot more people need. Uh, help with their with their handicapping and here we are to help you out so that long-term pass i'll do the i'll do the math for you here we can you can save 20 percent off on all of our premium pick packages when you use a promo code tony t let's say you get the one month all sports pass take 20 percent off that's 66 dollars off that pass of course you can apply that on any of dylan's passes the one day pass today he's got a really good a three pack up there or if you're into the seasons like WNBA has been very popular we've been getting a lot of views there with our with our video content so there's a lot of demand for WNBA Believe it or not, right? Who would have thought WNBA is getting a thousand over a thousand views a day on our site? So uh, get on board with that. You can get uh, Dylan's WNBA season pass right now. Formerly priced just one forty nine. That takes you. We got about another. Ooh, let's see the end. The end of the season, August fourteenth. Almost two months more of action from WNBA. So you can do that. But go on to Dylan's page, get signed up to a long term pass, and get signed up. All right, uh, as always, uh, Dylan. Uh, that uh, as always, great having you on the show. Continue that success. We'll be looking for your videos up on the site because I know you've contributed with them as well. And we also set to put together a Twitter account for you from the site. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to be posting videos for you guys, previews on plays uh, for the next day's action. You guys, also follow me on Twitter. I post my free plays there. Uh, Tony's Picks Dylan on Twitter. You guys can follow me over there. And we've been doing not just good in the WNBA. Ramon and I have been crushing the WNBA. And I think we both have season-long packages. So head over there and let's keep making money. Yeah, let's keep making money, guys. Check out Dylan's pages. He's been doing great in WNBA, guys. So get on board there with Dylan Guestwin and get on to sign up to one of his long-term passes. All right, Dylan, keep up that great work, and we'll talk with you again tomorrow. Sounds great, Tony. Thanks. You got to schedule my vacation right at the All-Star break. I mean, those were the, the three days off, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't like it is now. I like these niche sports. And, Tony, uh, just want to shout out. Uh, you mentioned the legalization here with me and with – uh, Dylan and uh, just watching my tweet deck just like I do waiting for any news to come across but I just saw right now that North Carolina has uh, sent their bills to the house floor so good luck to North Carolina I heard it's a packed room uh, there today uh, with those committee meetings looks real good North Carolina to get something done here so uh, congratulations in advance to the fans in North Carolina. I think you're going to get it done. Yeah, that's right. Also, I think Kansas is ready to launch theirs as well. So lots going mm -hmm. on here in legalizations. I know it's on the ballot here 
uh, and the yeah. only question is, will it be uh, will it be you know uh, online or will it be in casinos? That's that, that's still being worked out, and that will be that will be debated from now until November. We can expect a lot yeah, of that. I could talk to yeah, I could talk to you about it for an hour. It would yeah. bore everybody to tears. Yeah, but yeah, I'm on the true. edge of my seat. I, I'm on the edge of my seat here in California. There's going to be a lot of confusion on the ballot, and I yeah. just hope that. Of voters make the right choice in November. Yep, I certainly hope we need the online. Let's get the online. <laughs> what I'm looking for. So, all right, all right, everyone. Here we go. At 6:40 Eastern time, we go here to the Marlins. They had a wild one yesterday, uh, and and the Rockies. The Marlins are the dollar ninety-five favorite in this one. A total seven and a half. What dollar ninety-five? Tony, you, you, you have the plus on the screen. I'm kind of teasing you there, but I'm almost kidding you. The Marlins are a $2 favorite. Are they in first place or something? They're playing the Rockies. Now, I know we got our boy Pablo Lopez on the mound, so maybe the Marlins should be okay. But a $2 favorite, that sounds just crazy. I almost want to change my that's why. That's why. That's Rockies. why I screwed up the graphic. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw <laughs> minus. I thought it was plus. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, no way. I mean, you know, there's another free, just, you know, Rockies on principle, right? But this is about the total. We got our guy Pablo Lopez. You talk about last night's game that went way over, and, you know, uh, Collins was talking about the SEC West. Garrett Cooper, former Auburn Tiger, he had the big hit last night in a wild game. The Marlins won in a high-scoring game. But Pablo Lopez is going to come on and try to uh, get things back going with his pitching, 2.85, the earned run average this year, a 1.07 whip, uh, you know, low walk rate, pretty good K rate. Uh, Pablo Lopez, I don't know what's happened to him these last three games. I mean, I'm, we were expecting regression, certainly, uh, from Pablo, but uh, his overall numbers are still there. Last three starts, not too solid. Uh, these teams have really slugged it out in four games this year, although – uh, three of them were in Colorado, 64 runs in four games. But Chad Cool, maybe a, maybe an underrated pitcher, uh, Tony, 3.69 ERA. The Rockies have gone under in nine of his 12 starts this season. And Cool is 7-0 and to the under against teams with a losing record, which the Marlins do have, by the way. They aren't in first place uh, as a $2 favorite. Also, uh, Cool, 0-4 uh, to the under against right-handers. You know, in Cool's starts this year, those 12 games, Tony, the average run scored between the two teams has been 6.8. So he's been involved in low-scoring games. The Rockies are 2-5-1 and one to the under in the last eight, and the Rockies – Further pitching woes have turned it around in the bullpen over the last 10 games, a 1.57 earned run average. Now, the Rockies are definitely hitting right now. They are mashing. Uh, did play some uh, games at home, but uh, first in batting average, but 10th in runs. That is a concern to me, actually. So I'm not sure that, uh, you know, maybe yesterday was a little bit of an aberration, but I have this one going under Tony. I don't like some of the Rockies bats that'll be in the lineup today. I'm figuring Daza, Rogers, and Crone in there. I don't like their their bats too much against Pablo Lopez. And I do have Victor Carpaza behind the plate. I think he's a noted pitcher's umpire, about 55% to the under. Uh, talking about the uh, you know, Marlins being a $2 favorite, and this, is, this, this stat, Tony, is more noise, but Carpaza... Uh, the home teams have won just one of the 11 games. He's been behind the plate this year. He kind of, you know, uh, Angel Hernandez's cousin when he calls to comes to call you for the visiting team. But I'm going to go under in this one, Tony. I look for it to come back to come back down a little bit. Cool, underrated pitcher in my mind as far as maybe just durability and hard work. I don't think he's anything overwhelming, but I do like the fact that his games uh, have tended to go under and of course Pablo Lopez we know has been quite good uh, despite his struggles over the last few games Tony going under uh, seven and a half Rockies and Marlins all right everyone here likes under here Rockies Marlins under the total of seven and a half hard to argue that one with Lopez's uh, numbers here have been sharp here good whip ground ball rate of 45 percent neither pitcher really been hurt by the home run ball this season no both of them have uh, rates I believe under uh, one a home run per nine. So and now we're in uh, in Miami. So not in college. This one's in Miami. I think everyone knows that. But uh, this one's in Miami where, like I said, last last night, that, that game got out of hand a little bit. You don't see those games too often. 
uh, down there. So I think the bookmaker has it right. They didn't go crazy today with the numbers here and leaving it at a seven and a half. So uh, I think it's, uh, that's the way I'm going to free pick today, but going under in this one. And again, I don't, I'm not throwing out a double play, but my gosh, minus two dollars <laughs> on a Marlins team. I know Pablo Lopez. You know, he's kind of a favorite of the betters, but. Oh, that does seem kind of crazy. Yeah, it seems a little crazy. I remember what the Pittsburgh was minus one fifty one against the Cubs. I thought that was crazy. See all that? He saw that ended up too. So anyway, you never know here. But Rockies of Marlins here under the total of seven and a half. Uh, this one will have a start time here of uh, six forty Eastern time. All right, Ramon. Let's go over at Tony'sPicks.com here for t- tonight. We still have. 13 games on the card here for Major League Baseball. Well, two to start here at the top of the hour. I know one out your way uh, will be starting, as well as college baseball on the board as well. We got that big game number four from the ice here. At Ray, at the Tampa, I want to say, Tampa Bay Lightning here, uh, and the Colorado Avalanche will be in action here. Florida faces Colorado here in hockey. Uh, so, um, there you go. And we also have uh, other sports as well. You know, I know there's, there's some soccer going on out there, out there as well. I know there's some uh, WNBA because you do, do a video series on it. What do you have going on over at Tony's Picks? Well, I just tuned out everything you said once you said that the Padre game was coming today. You know, uh, we have a new hero out here, Tony. I don't know, but the kind of gained some viral traction with our uh, new hero uh, behind the plate, the Colombian Jorge Alfaro. He's kind of started up a new saying out here. He kind of let a slip of the tongue out and kind of cussed a little bit in the post-game interview that was broadcast throughout the entire stadium, and now uh, San Diego has a new hashtag uh, uh, out here on uh, let's go with a you know word in the middle of that, let's go SD. So everybody's pretty fired up, and I'm pretty fired up too. I think the Padres uh, are in contention, no doubt about it. Let me talk about the NHL tonight, Tony. Uh, I'll be in action uh, in this one. Do have the video up with a preview of the game, and I will have – uh, a selection. I, I bought last game, Tony, and I'm glad I did. I would have had it wrong. I, I said I would have a premium up. I as the uh, I continued to look at the game. I backed off that premium play. I apologize there. Anybody was end up looking for it, but uh, it would have went haywire. So uh, get back in action tonight, Colorado and Tampa. Like you said, big game, big game, but we want a little more hockey. I think we do. We'll see what happens. We'll be in action tonight. Also in the WNBA, 2-1 and one yesterday. Dylan mentioned the good run. Uh, video Picks uh, series continues there. And, yes, thank you, Tony, for mentioning that. Thank you to everyone cracking 1,000 views. I'm so happy uh, with that. Um, honored, really, that, uh, you know, to be a part of your channel and getting those kind of views. I was floored when I saw two of the videos. I don't know, maybe a couple of the others maybe cracked it, but I don't know those four games two of them went over a thousand it just shows how much our channel and our site is gaining traction as we head towards football season thank you to everyone for watching those uh i can't stress that enough tony thank you so much and thank you uh, to the viewers as well so i'm uh, really honored by that uh, we'll get more we're going to go past that but just for me i think seeing 1000 it's my i called a football game once uh, as a uh, announcer has got like 3,000 views. So that's my next goal. So also, Tony, in the Major League Baseball action, of where I'm in action right now in one game and will be in action on a standalone available right now. I've got Toronto sweat along with Ramon, but maybe not anymore. Toronto no just went off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah it Grand Slam. Went up. Yeah, big four spot right there. Five in the inning, I think. Seven, seven nothing seven. right now. Not going to put that one in the books just yet. But uh, that's our premium from the early games. We do have a standalone in the uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific games. Pick up that one. I've got to play in one of those two games. Won't mention which one it is, but Padres are playing in that little block right there. And uh, also tonight we'll have more action in Major League Baseball. Coming off pair of nice days in MLB as I'm turning it around. Heating up here like the weather in the summer. Although, I don't know what's going on. I'm supposed to, we're waiting on a monsoon down here, Tony. Um, I think that just means <laughs> rain with hot weather, That's but it. I think it means extra rain. That's what they said is coming, but I don't think it's going to affect today's ball game just yet. I don't see any rain whatsoever uh, out here right now. It's sunny, but they said it's going to be a torrential downpour, one of those fast-moving uh, summer storms. 
Yep. Actually, it says zero percent rain in San Diego here. Yeah. Seven miles maybe per it's hour. Tonight. So, I don't know. Yeah, maybe tonight. But anyway, yeah. Uh, guys, college yeah. baseball too. When I'll be I'll be involved in the college baseball game as well. Uh, SEC. <laughs> SEC West. <laughs> All right, guys, we, we document college baseball here on, on uh, Tony's Picks, guys. So get on board here with Mo Scott over at, at Tony's Picks. He's got that afternoon baseball pick for you, standalone on a guaranteed basis. So you can get on board with that. Also, uh, he'll be in action. We'll see if we get the NHL up there. We'll see. Not, not sure yet. Uh, Ramon, will, if he's up in action there, but uh, keep an eye there. The long term pass is your best value there, your three, seven, or thirty dollars sports pass. Now, if you get that seven day pass, you'll get all of Ramon's plays here from his major sports. Of course, he's in action here in, in baseball and NHL. And if the NHL goes seven games, then that's that will be included in that seven-day all sports pass, right? We, that will include. Right now, we're in this schedule where we go every other day now to the remainder of the of the uh, Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, so that means if there's a game seven, uh, it would be uh, it would be next Tuesday. So that would be part of your seven-day all sports pass. So get get on board with that. So if the, if, if we got a five-game series, a six-game series, a seven-game series. Uh, you'll you'll be covered with the NHL with that seven day all sports pass as well as all of Ramon's baseball plays there as well. Of course, keep an eye on Ramon's uh, individual plays up there. WNBA season pass, CFL as well. He, he you've seen his videos over at TonySpace.com. So you guys like him. He does great work. That's why he gets the views. <laughs> That's the only reason you get the views because he gets the does the great work on the channel. We appreciate Ramon and all the, uh, everyone out there that's been supporting the videos. Greatly appreciate that. So get on board with Ramon's long-term passes. We're going to save you some money here. Any of, any of the premium picks you choose, you can save 20% off when you use the promo code TONYT at checkout. You can access Ramon's page by clicking the link in the description, clicking the All Cappers tab, and, of course, getting signed up. Right, Ramon, as always, a great having you to show. I know we put together a Twitter account for you from Tony's Picks. Head on over to Twitter and pick up my pick for today, my other free pick on Twitter. and It's the... Uh going to be in the National Hockey League, so check it out. I'm at Tony's Picks Ramon, and you can pick up more picks from all the cappers every day on Twitter. Follow us all over there. We all are posting plays. I know there's about a dozen up there today as well, so if you want more free plays, there they are. Yep. Follow up Ramon there, Tony's Picks Ramon, uh, and there, and it gets uh, additional bonus picks. Hope to get those videos up there soon. That's what we're working on. I want to get that done as soon as possible. All right, Ramon, as always, uh, great having you on the show. Continue that success. We'll take a look for the video series up there, and we'll talk with you again tomorrow. Yeah, get ready for a nice weekend. No, let's, I, I know you're excited, Tony, about all this baseball. You're on top. You're trying to pump up the baseball. <laughs> but, man, I tell you what, in about uh, four or five weeks, uh, everyone's going to have the fever. Everyone's gonna have the football fever. Oh yeah, and of course, when you're on top in baseball, you still got to deliver baseball. So that's gonna be my workload gonna be even even more heavier. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. We'll all be watching those uh, ten o'clock uh, Pacific time uh, NFL games, and Tony will be stuck on a on a Toronto Blue Jays, Chicago White Sox baseball. Yeah, game. when you're number one in baseball, you got to go all the way through uh, November. So my football, so I'm gonna have to handicap every baseball game during football season. That's okay, I'll take it. That's what I signed up you for. You do it, brother. All right, you got it. Ramon Scott here on Game.